Hello, my name is Glenn Mead. I'm a writer. And uh, I began writing books about 18, 19 years ago. I had worked in the theatre for a number of years and wrote seven uh, plays, none of which were successful, so I decided to to try writing novels instead. And fortunately for me, I was, I was lucky, and uh, my first three books were bestsellers internationally in America and in Europe. So uh, I've, uh, I've written 11 books at this stage, and I live in Europe some of the year in Ireland and some of the year in America. Um, most of my writing is done in Ireland, um, where it's very peaceful and very quiet, and no distractions. Uh, maybe a little bit too much alcohol there, but other than that, it's a very peaceful, very just the right place to, to, to write. The Romanov Conspiracy um, uh, was probably one of the most successful books um, that I wrote, uh, apart from um, Snow Wolf and Sands of Saqqara, and it's based on a true story um, about an attempt to try and rescue the Russian royal family in 1918, and um, I felt it was a really interesting story to tell uh, because a lot of it was based on truth. Um, uh, one day, um, I was doing a, a newspaper interview in Belfast and I drove back home to Dublin and I stopped at a small cemetery um, about an hour from Dublin and I found some old Russian graves there and um, later it, 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 you know, the graves kind of uh, interested me in that uh, there were Russian crosses, um, which is an unusual cross, and it stood out in the graveyard. It's very different. So uh, that led me to uh, discover a, a, a true story about the, the, the an attempt to rescue the, the, the Russian royal family and the Princess Anastasia in 1918. Um, it was very interesting to research. I spent about two months in Russia researching it. And um, for some reason, a lot of people seem to... Um, be interested in the story. Um, it's a it's a very um, uh, intriguing uh, mystery that has never really been solved. Um, whether Princess Anastasia lived or died, and I wanted to put a new spin on it, a new um, angle to it, and I think I managed to do that with the book.